I'm Jim Griffiths from the Poppy Field Paderborn, known as Mr. Poppy. I shall be shaving my moustache off next year after 40 years for the Poppy Field. Now, what we've got here is, I call it the Paderborn Branch Poppy Factory. But every year I get from UK between 8 and 11,000 poppies for distribution in the Paderborn area. And on this table you can see there, at the moment, there is 11,000 poppies and the appropriate cans to do the job. So this is probably the last time you will see me with my moustache doing the poppy rounds and next year I'll be there with a plain face. It was in Cyprus in 1969 with the United Nations with 3rd Battalion Light Infantry when I started my moustache off and uh, it wasn't liked in the beginning but in the end everybody agreed and I kept it right to the end of my service time in 83. To me my moustache means a lot. Okay, and uh, my family as well. I've got a lot of people who don't like my moustache. I like it, and I get up every morning and it takes me two to three hours to do my tash, all depending on the weather. Some people react by uh, looking at me, walking by and saying nothing, but then feeling their own faces to see if they have moustaches themselves, etc. The Americans are very keen on taking photographs. You can never get away from them. It doesn't really worry me at all. Most people know what I do when they see me, they, they know me in Paderborn area and, and most areas, Falling Bossel, uh, Oserbrook, here then, they, they all know me. And uh, I don't think that I can go anywhere in Germany, in Westphalen, even Berlin, without anybody not knowing me. One or two things have happened with children. Uh, I've had a child grab my tash in the suit ring back a long time ago as well. I was just standing there, it was in the mother's arms, and he put his hand in and grabbed it, and with the right game getting that out, it took about five to ten seconds, uh, but he got his fingers right in, and again, I was going down the road on the campsite where I go to, on a regular basis, and there's kids go by there, they haven't seen me before, and things like that, get all sorts of comments, and one one day he said to his mum, and then I heard him go into the backyard, he says, mum, i just seen a man go down there, he's got a, a bone in his gob, just like that, right out in German. <laughs> when you think every day for the last 40 years doing my moustache, say approximately hour and a half, because that's all it, it used to take me an hour and 20 minutes, it now takes me nearly two hours. So if you work it on uh, one and a quarter hours for every day for the last 40 years, that's quite a few hours. When I'm at home then, mostly it is around 22 to 24 centimetres long each side. Yeah, the routine with my moustache in the morning is to get up, wash it out, dry it out, and then spray it for about half an hour before I start working on it, then go in and brush it all out. You might think that's a funny way to go about it. And then I've got two combs there, a brush, air dryer, and I always start from right to left. And I do the right hand wing first, and you use a large comb for that, to comb it out to the right hand side and get it pretty well in position. You then use a smaller comb and finer comb with a long spike on the end of it so it's put the airs in place because the airs are now getting thinner and less and so you have more of a problem getting them in to where you want them. You then, uh, after you've done that, you go to the left hand side and do exactly the same thing again, all the time spraying and blowing it to dry it out and put it into position. And then you start on the big one, the mutton shop, which is also again on the right hand side. And that is a lot of work. It takes 25 minutes to half an hour each morning. Again, using a spike comb, a pair of scissors with a good point on it, which gets the fine hairs right into position and digs them out from inside to the outer side. And uh, finishes off with spray and a good dry out. And then you carry on and do the left hand side exactly the same. Yeah, the type of air spray which I use, in matter of fact, is Audi air spray, which is quite cheap, 1.99 a can. And uh, I use two cans a week, and we work that out. 56, uh, 156 days in the year, whatever it is, uh, buy two cans a week, and it's a lot of money each year. It's an hobby which I've got and can't get away with. There's not such a thing as getting up early for me because I'm up every morning at 6 o'clock. But sometimes 
if I'm going to have to get up earlier to be at an appointment, say, 7 o'clock, and I'll go to bed very often and lie on my back all night long with my moustache already made up. So all I have to do in the morning is get up, say, the normal time, give it a quick flick, and I'm ready to go. I served uh, with the Army for 27 years. I took part in a parade, I think it was the 10th anniversary of NATO, down at headquarters at uh, JHQ, and it was fine weather, doing all the practices and getting ready for it. But on the morning of the parade, it was a guard of honour, 150 people. I was the colour sergeant at the front, leading the troops, got on parade, and he belted down with rain. And the general came out to do his uh, inspection, and by the time as he got round to me, my moustache was hanging down well below my chin. And he never said a word. He never said a word. It was all done. He never spoke to the uh, guard commander or the OC after, and I got away with that. How I got away with it, I don't know. I was in the science mess in Minden, and we were having a function one evening. It was a big function, and you know what it's like. They get a few down them, but it's three, four o'clock in the morning. Fun and game started, and they were all after my tash, and one of them got over a great big scissors. So I vanished, and they were looking for me for at least a quarter of an hour, and I hid in an oven in the, in the kitchen down in the cellar. And I was in there for about a quarter of an hour and I let myself out, went up because it all settled down then and they'd forgotten about it. And so the tash didn't get cut off when you and my wife were standing by. <laughs> in the near future, next year, I shall be shaving my moustache off and uh, that'll be in September next year. And the reason I'll be shaving it off for is to raise funds for the Poppy Appeal. And, uh, It'll be the 40th year that I've had my moustache, my 50th uh, wedding anniversary. It won't be a gift to my wife because it'll be after the wedding anniversary. And so there'll be something to look forward to the following year. Next year, as a matter of fact, the event will take place in Paderborn on the 18th of uh, September in front of the Rat House. And by then we're hoping to have got well, pretty well 50,000 euros for this event. And uh, I've been doing the job since I was 50. It was exactly 50 years old when I started this job. So you can say today, that's 23 years ago, and I've been 23 years the chairman. And I'm now, myself, 73 years of age. I think we raised, I don't know exactly, around 350 to 400,000 euros. I'm almost sure it's even more than that. And uh, I'm proud of that as well. And, I hope to raise another at least 100,000 before I get it cut off. With a bit of luck, that's not only with the 50,000 I hope to get, but with all the other monies that come in during the next 12 months. I am known as Mr. Poppy in Paderborn, mainly by all the children because I visit the schools uh, at least twice a year. I take their poppies up, collect the money, they do fun runs for me and everything. I'll give them uh, the big large poppies for the mums put on the cars and everything. And whenever they see me, they come by in the bus because I pass my house every day going to school or coming up, they always give me a wave and they call me Mr. Poppy on the streets. I'm proud of that, you know, that the children can look up to you and say, and they recognise you. And it's probably through my moustache, as a matter of fact. Yes, I think it's about time that I did take it off and had a rest from it. I don't know whether I'll be able to breathe any easier or whether I'll be happy or not until it has happened. But I do know I'm doing it for the right thing and that is to raise funds for charity.